Is there sound on this? What? No. What? Hello? Oh, it's not. Oh, there's no sound. Get in the earplug. We'll teach you. Are you zooming in? No, no, I'm, You're I'm already. back into the plant. So we have to shoot a commercial tomorrow. Yes. Edit it down. Yes. Put a soundtrack on it. Yes. Get it the hell out the end yes. of that tape. Right. Run out 15 copies. Right. Get the hell out in the mail. Get the hell out in the mail. So when you're gone for a week, those orders will be coming in like right. gangbusters. Right. Then we'll work on an edited copy. Right. Okay. Okay. Take it easy. See you later. See you tomorrow. I'll oh, come where on. is it? Oh my God, it's going at me. Yeah, I'm, me this out. is like, uh, it's 60 minutes in here with a couple of yeah. film producers. Yeah. Plus, look at the Except light quality, it's just under fluorescent. It's unbelievable. It is, isn't it? Of course, it's good. I'm going to take this autofocus off. That's okay. terrible. Yeah. Yes, if you move. But well, once you slide in. that back, you're back into auto. Yeah. Back. I'm back. Oh, auto. That has to you stay mean it's open. auto, auto? It, no, it has to stay open for it to be on manual. That oh, you're right. Wall. I see the square. <laughs> that was a wild guess. <laughs> now he's going to do a walking camera shot. Yeah, no, it's 60 minutes, gentlemen. Do, yeah, do. All right, got to run. Remember, use Tupperware. Okay, uh, have a good place. wedding. What? Uh, have a good wedding. I already got married. Oh, you, oh, you it's just a hoopla. It's a party. Well, have, yeah. have a good party. Now yeah, you're talking. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Goodbye. All right. Well, we're rolling now. Yeah, we're rolling. We're, we're rolling 60 now. minutes. Are you going to give us a statement or not? We're going to give you a statement. All right. On the state of the world. Is it true that nation? you are doing illegal things and immoral things? Uh on certain, uh, you know, certain gradients of certain moral... So that is true. You want to specify the moral charges against you, are no, you... I mean, is it rape or... Uh, no, nothing of any degree. Theft? No. Nothing that has any a first, second, or third... Nothing criminal? Nothing criminal. We've heard that there's been some criminal things involved here. That's why we're... That's why we're 60 minutes. And yeah, what we want I to don't know of any criminal activities that have taken place in this neighborhood and probably... 20, 30, 40 years. All right, well, we better turn the cameras off then. But by the way, Miles and a lot of video equipment. A lot of video stuff. We got the uh, child porn. <laughs> I don't know whether I accidentally pushed record and it stopped or not. No, the red light is on. It should be saying REC. It does say on, but, but for a second I pushed it. I don't know. Uh, Maybe we get, I don't know. We got a new crew today on 60 Minutes. Yes, you do. Yeah. All right. Here, let's well, now then. Let's forward. Let's turn this baby off. Here, we can go through. You, you know, we can make a procedure tape. What a great idea. I'm going to do a procedure tape when I'm a little bit. No, start with the procedures now. No, <laughs> I can't do a procedure tape. Um, I can't do procedure tape in the state of mind because the employees, you show this to them and. Uh... Let's see it now. We can start now. We're serious. Ready? Okay. Serious. Serious. This is the Panasonic 1960 VCR. It is used to do duplications from a VHS Master, VHS C Master, Super VHS Master, Super VHS C Master. This unit has got a digital tracking system which will automatically lock on to most videotapes severe tracking problems one would switch to manual and then adjust the plus and minus tracking buttons right here we have your OSD on and off this is an uh, this sends a constant blue signal through the monitor and the system here rather than having static or no control track showing this is an option that uh, is subject to uh, the user's desires. Okay, we have your line in for setting the front input on this VCR. You've got the S VHS line in here, which is the multi-pin connector. Line two is the yellow video in, and then you have your audio in for either one of those. And we have line one in on the back. Now for most of your duplications, you're going to put your videotape in here, Activate the jog shuttle wheel button over here. Locate the beginning of the videotape. Determine whether there's any uh, signal on there at all, black, or uh, if it just starts from uh, no control track. 
put it in the beginning position depending upon how long you have lead time on this videotape will determine when you press the record button over here when you will release your jog shuttle over here. To say that again, locate your position on this videotape, determine whether you have a lead in time on this tape or not, start your tapes over here in your duplicators which you've already loaded, you know how to do that, hit the record button here and hit but the, the jog see the record release. button again here? The record button is over here and you would hit your jog shuttle over here. Now, that is just the operation of this unit here but does not concern the setting of the levels of the video through the distribution amp which goes to the various duplicators over here. Therefore, before you would even start this duplication, you would start your tape on play, determine your input levels over here on the Panasonic DA100 distribution amp. <clears throat> Once you've done a, done a level check here, which is not going into the peaks, into the red here, burying the needle, and we would come over here to your various decks which you would be using with this distribution amp and adjust the audio input levels accordingly on these decks. Depending upon the quality of the master will determine whether or not you use the audio limiter on or off based on the recording techniques used by the videographer. Uh, amateur videos would more than likely have the limiter on, whereas a professionally produced unit if it has tone at the beginning of it, we could set the limit, set, set it on manual, leave it on manual. Tone is a signal that is put on the video tape at the beginning so that you can set your levels according to the uh, same level that the videotape was mastered on. Therefore, the audio that is sent over to the copies is going to be of equal quality to that of the master. So that's why tone is put on the video. Once this has been done in advance, you can then rewind your tape to here, to here, to the beginning. Again, go through the procedure I said earlier as far as setting it up is concerned, then start the recorder going. It is always good to determine the length of the videotape that you're duplicating to make certain that it corresponds with what the customer said the length was. They may say it's 10 minutes and it could be 25 and you would not want to load your duplicators with 15 minute tapes when it was a 25 minute production. And in the opposite direction, you do not want to use a two hour videotape to make a copy of a five minute tape. So it, it is worth it to run a tape to the end and check the counter to see how long the tape is. So we determine how long a tape is, get the right type of tape stock, load these units here, and queue up our tape in our source machine here, make sure our levels are set properly on the distribution amplifier, put it on jog shuttle and start the recording. The current system for checking the tapes that have been duplicated after the prescribed length of time are decks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, and 10 do not currently have a monitoring system connected to them. So any dubs that are done in these three decks must be transferred to one of the other decks to do a verification that the picture quality is good and the audio quality is good. Currently we are using the Vitacraft audio video processor and de detailer 4 in conjunction to monitor the various duplicators. So, with the detailer 4 on the dub number 4 position, the light will be lit here if the uh, rack was on. 1 corresponds to 1, 2 corresponds to 2, 3 corresponds to 3, 4 corresponds to 4. Dub, then once you come off of the fourth level, dub five corresponds, or one corresponds to five, two corresponds to six, three corresponds to seven, and again back to four, and you reroute yourself over here. So that would be a way of checking the quality of the uh, copies that are done on the, uh, on the ten decks there. Then again, kick those out, switch to different decks, and check those. Rewind everything to the beginning pop the uh, tabs on the tapes and then they need to be forwarded to the labeling department for proper labeling. So that's basically how duplications are done at this little center here for VHS, Super VHS tapes and the C tapes as well. We also have the Sony three-quarter inch 
machine for mastering uh, mainly professionally shot stuff on three quarter inch. And the procedure is basically the same and actually with three quarter inch masters it's usually a little bit more consistent where more often than not there is tone on the videotape so once you've hit play and you've laid down you'll see color bars at the beginning of the tape and usually the tone signal and then you can set this. Now this happens to be on line B here and B here. So if you go to the three quarter inch master machine you come over, you set the meter on B, you set the uh, output line on B, 1 through 10, and that will allow you to come through the 3 quarter inch machine. You can control the level inputs with the B uh, settings over here. A and B, or channel 1 and channel 2. We also have the video level, that, which should be kept in the blue, and you should do the adjustments for the three-quarter machine on B and the VHS machine on A, and that should be done when you mainly have picture on the screen, not when you have graphics or like a gray or a blue background. So you could queue up your uh, Sony machine with the play and the search mode, queue it up to the beginning, get your decks ready to go, hit record. This unit is different from the Panasonic unit. This one here, if you hit search a second time, the unit will change, will do subject to no change at all. With the jog shuttle on the Panasonic, each time you hit it, is, it is on and it is off. So it is stop or it is go. Uh, here, if you hit the search once, it's going to stop the tape uh, in whatever, whatever position you're at, provided the jog shuttle wheel, obviously, is at the 12 o'clock position. If you hit the search mode where this is all the way in fast forward, it will instantly go into fast forward, fast forward and if you hit it in the reverse and you hit the search button, it'll instantly go in reverse. Same thing again corresponds here. You hit this jog. If the outside ring is hat, has, was left in the fast forward position, it's going to instantly go into the fast forward. And if it was left in the rewind position when you hit it, it'll instantly go into rewind. Uh, so in order to activate this machine, once you've stopped it in the search mode, you would have to hit play. And that would uh, disarm the uh, search mode and, and get you to play the tape. When If you do have a tape queued up, you, it, a good procedure is to come from search to play to pause and then hit pause again and it'll start rolling. The advantage of that is you create fewer glitches if you come from play, pause, pause rather than search, play. Uh, there's no, it's not a hundred percent you know, one way or the other, but generally we find that if you go from search to play to pause, back to pause again, or to play either one, you'll have a better uh, uh, starting point when the tapes start rolling. Currently the Sony 8mm deck is not hooked up. We are using the Hi8 camera, and we place the Hi8 camera right here for, on a tripod, for duplication purposes from 8 or Hi8 tapes. We then run the S-Video out of the camera, into this plug here and the audio cables into left and right here and we use the camera as a VCR as a source machine on duplicating the 8 and the high 8 tapes or to VHS. Now if a project happens to come in where it requires many many copies of a videotape whose nature perhaps is industrial uh, in the construction whether it whether it's a construction uh, company ran a tape through a, a project in all the rooms and they wanted 30 hours of one copy of each tape it might be prudent to hook up this machine to do the dubs but for high quality dubs of 30 and 45 minutes in an hour nature that kind of thing we bring in the, the camera the distribution amp down here is not being utilized and uh, you got your monitor here which is hooked in and everything all things that's basically it. As far as the settings on this, we leave all these controls off because these are strictly for monitoring at this point in time. The luminance and the color and the hue are not being utilized, so that's of no concern. As far as turning the racks on, there are three electrical switches in the back. The first one is for rack one, the second one for rack two, third one for rack three. For conservation of electricity, we could put rack one, uh, this rack on and this rack on and leave that rack off unless you have a tape jo dubbing job which requires um, more than five. Now if you want a lowdown on these machines, now that's a whole nother story. Because we have got, th um, 
three basic models here where we have the 6300, the 6200, and the 6810. Each has its unique capabilities. The 6300s are really designed for a, a playback machine on, a, on an a, on a editing system. The 6200s can be used for that purpose but are not as accurate in the editing process. They do both have the jog shuttle locating mechanism that exists on the Panasonic, the Sony, and throughout these six units, the 62 and the 6300. You will notice the 6810s do not have the jog shuttle wheel, therefore they do not have glitch-free duplication capability if you have a tape change. Now there perhaps is a configuration for allowing for that uh, but we'll have to get back to you in the morning on that one. Uh, that's, that's as much as we can give you on this uh, briefing. I'll have to get back to you on that one. Uh, other than that, uh, those are the basics on the system, and uh, um, I hope that uh, you're able to run this system uh, as, as readily as anybody could hope uh, while I'm on vacation. And uh, I'll be back uh, when I get back, and we thank you for your attention.